What is going on my Welty family? Welcome back. Today's lesson, we're doing a rollout TIG all the way out, pretty much in the fixed position, 1G position, okay? Very common rollout in fabrication shops, especially pipe fabrication shops, okay? We're on a little bit of a rollout series. Our lead instructor did a past video last week, which was a MIG and flux core all the way out on the rollout. Now we're doing a TIG all the way out. Now, you might say this is pretty simple, but keep in mind, a lot of people have problems with rolling out because they're used to fixed position, which is okay. We're gonna figure it out here. Very easy, very simple, but also good knowledge. All right, let's get to it. All right, the World 2 family, as you know, we have a six inch schedule 40 pipe right here with four tacks, okay? 12 and six o'clock are penetrated tacks and three and nine o'clock are bridge tacks. Why? I like my bridge tacks on the sides because it's less tie-ins, but that's all personal preference. You can put penetrated tacks all four, all the way around, it's, it's fine. Um, my tacks on the top and bottom are about an inch, inch and a half, okay? I got a loose 532 gap, and I'm running around 107 to 110 amps on the rollout, okay? We're not starting from now, this is not fixed position. Y'all know this, I'm not going from the bottom to the top. It's very simple, this is fast production. This is why they have rollouts. And what I'm gonna do is, I like my tacks to be on top, of course, but I like to be having my TIG torch while I'm welding, okay, to be up here. Now you're thinking, Hamar, why do you have it up here if you could just do it on the side and do this? No, listen, if you're up here, you do not have to back feed. Now with rollout, right, there's no need to back feed. You don't have to have the rod in the inside. I have a loose 532, okay? Gravity plays when you're on the top side of 12 o'clock. All you gotta do is run hot, have the wire in there, lay wire it all the way through. So this is what I'm gonna do. Here's my forward and here's my reverse. I have the speed all the way high on this rollout machine, which is Profax, by the way. And, um, you know, I have it up here like this, I have my rod, I don't cut the rod, there's no need to. And I go to town, so I'm up here. I do this, boom. Stop. Stop, you know. Wiggling the cup through. Stop. You're just letting gravity play, man. It's that simple, you know. Come in here. Coming all the way through just like that. You know, and then if you feel like you can, you have to stop. You stop right here, pop off to the side. Then we're gonna break off the bridge tack. Then do one tie-in on your stop and start and keep going all the way through. It's that simple, guys. You know, a lot of people have trouble with rollouts because of this, the, the speed and everything like that. They don't know the, the speedness or it's okay. But with something like this, this is very simple. Very, very simple. I recommend doing this in fixed position, right? But hey, this is gravy. This is why they call it the gravy uh, TIG when you're on the rollout. So like I said, four tacks, five, a loose 532 gap running around 107, 110 amps. Um, I'm wiggling the cup. I have a 2% uh, lanthanated tungsten, number 12 cup, okay, because I'm gonna throw a 1B cap on this. And uh, you want it to be nice and sharp, and I have the tungsten out about a half inch, okay? And you want it out here. And you just wanna wiggle, 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 wiggle. Once you, once you feel like you're going down too much, you go. The rod is not in the inside. It's in the outside, and we're using the ER70S2 1 8 filler rod, okay, by Blue Demon. So, we're gonna go ahead, make sure to feather your tacks, especially penetrate tacks, and uh, run the root pass. I'm gonna stop at the bridge tacks, break them off like they were never there, feather my stop and start, keep going all the way through, and uh, hopefully it comes out with a decent root pass on the inside, so let's get to it. Right now I'm in the root pass. Just gonna go to town just like that. Keep it nice and light, roll it up. Roll it up. Keep 
going. Just make sure to keep your wrist light. Make sure you spread it against the walls. Right here I'm getting to my bridge tack. I'm gonna keep going. Warm it up real good. And both walls. Just keep going, just lay that rod in there. You know, I'm not back feeding or nothing, I'm just, just going with the flow. Got to get to the tack. Warm it up real good. Real good. Add metal. Gonna pop off right here. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Warm it up real good. Keep going. Press the roller so it can go up. Remember, you don't want to go too downhill with it. You just want to play with gravity. Not supposed to go downhill. Let it go. Keep going. Right now, I turned it up to 120, by the way, so it can run hot. All about wiggling in that cup. Simple as that, guys. Make sure you hit both walls. All right. Going, make sure, like I said, keep it light on the wrist. You don't want to put too much tension on it. You're tying into the last tack. Make sure to add metal. Pop right off. There's the root pass as well. There it is. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. It'll do. Alrighty, guys. So it's the same uh, speed. Uh, the temperature, I turned it up to 145. And I'm going to wiggle the cup all the way through. And the rest is gravy, guys. Just... Wiggle it. Here we go. Yeah, just nice and light guys, nice and gravy. 145, remember this is a six and schedule 40. Nice and light on your wrist. 
Nice and light on the filler rod. Keep that filler rod right in the middle of the puddle. No, it's just like that, guys. It, the first two or three rollouts, it becomes real easy. You want to roll it every time that you feel like you're going down, that's when you want to roll it forward. Like right now, I feel like I'm going down. I'm going to move it forward. You want to make sure your tongue is nice and sharp at all times. You know, my wrist doesn't hurt, nothing's tense. Keep going, I feel like I'm getting closer. All right, right here. And when you pop off, if we're about to get to right here, you want to wiggle. Alright, that's the hot pass. Right now I'm gonna turn it up to 175, flush it out, let it cool down, then throw a 1B cap on it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and flush it out right now. So you're thinking, what about the fill pass? Well, after the hot pass, you can turn it up hot and go to town. So I go one wall right here. Wait, once I feel like I'm, I can put my cup in there and walk it. There you go. Just like that, guys. Just want to take that time, just do that. You know, this is where you push your rod to build it up more. You know, so it can flush out the way you want to. Almost there, keep pushing. And right when we get flush right here, you want to wiggle out. All right, it's nice and flush. Ready to cap. So I ran around 175 amps just to flush it out. And uh, now I'm gonna wire wheel it clean. Let it cool down, then um, probably run a 2B cap on there. Now I'm capping it. I'm throwing a 2B cap on here. You could throw a 1B cap. But I'm using a 1 8 rod right now. If I had a 532 ER70S2, 
I would have definitely capped it one bead. You only want to go from the middle, like three quarters of the way, about a sixteenth over the uh, the edge of the bevel. Just keep going guys, you just want to stay up in 12 o'clock, that's the area you want to stay up at. And keep that wrist light. Be cap. Going from the middle, cross. I like to keep my weaves real tight. I don't know what it is, but. You want to keep that filler rod right in the middle of the puddle. Don't keep it at the edge because you're going to lose your guide. I'm getting close to the end and then after I pop off that's it guys that's how you do a rollout on TIG okay about to pop off right here all right here's a 2B cap nice and wire wheeled um, all the way out and it came out pretty good guys you know rollout is it's, it's, it's it gets easy once or twice that you do it um, it's used for fast production you know and all the way guys hope you enjoyed it all right my well two family there you have it six and schedule 40 pipe take all the way out on the rollout machine all right a lot of people don't know how to use this but uh this is a good tutorial for you. It's some gravy stuff. You're in the 1G fixed position. So remember guys, burn, learn, and eventually y'all gonna earn. You can subscribe down low, give us a thumbs up, and you can follow us on all our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at WellTube. All right guys, God bless.